<sighs> so many tomatoes. I'm gonna have to fill this whole thing up with these little tomatoes. These are Juliet tomatoes. And there's a lot of them. Hey, okay, well, I'm out here collecting tomatoes because there's so many tomatoes right now. I have a basket right there. And I have all of these. I have a basket right here. Look how pretty. Look how big this basket is. It's huge and it's heavy. Full of Juliet tomatoes. They're like little Roma tomatoes. Lots of flavor. Juicy. So if you like flavor and you like raw tomatoes, this is the one for you. Juliet. And it's a high producer of fruits. <sighs> so the ones that are cracked like that, I'm just tossing it over to the chickens. But there's a lot to collect. I just, I have to go inside now because there's a lot that I collected on the outside. This is one plant on this side and one on that side. And it's a six by three bed. It started out beautiful and then I just let them collapse. <laughs> But they're very delicious. I don't like these. These are beautiful. They're called husky tomatoes. I got them from Tractor Supply as a plant. I do not like them at all. They grow beautiful. They just don't really have a good flavor. Look how pretty. They're okay, but mm -mm. I wouldn't think twice to ever grow these beauties again. You know what? Maybe I'll give these to the chickens and keep the Juliet's. I have enough. This plant, it's only four feet tall, I think. And there's two, two on that side. Bell pepper stuck in there. And then, look how pretty these are. These are dahlias. These are pretty too, they're dahlias. And then I have this, these are the big tomatoes. Hmm. Um, they look good, but they're not that great. So I need to harvest these guys. I need scissors. Yeah, I can't get it out of there. There's a lot. There's some funky ones in there. Like these weird ones, don't let those grow. If you can tell they look like this. Don't bother, because they're going to have weird stuff like that, and they're going to have stuff stuck inside. Just take them out. And then on this side, there's another variety of tomato. Here's a bad one. Well, yeah, you can eat it, but no thanks. Let me wash it. Let me try it. Hold on. So it's not ready yet, but... Ugh. No thank you. <laughs> Another tractor supply variety. I'm a little disappointed. I'm gonna stick to Ace Hardware. They have black cherry tomatoes. I love those. Look how pretty this one is. And then the other variety someone brought to work. And let me squeeze in here. These, I don't know what they are. They're beautiful, look. Oh, are those beef steaks? I think they're beef steaks. Wow, look at this one. Um, whoa, there's a big one in here. But they're not even turning color yet at all. Look at all those. And those I got from a coworker. So, oh, here's a big one. Look at that one. You can't tell, but it's... It's a big one, look. Oh, yeah, you can't tell. So this is from a co-worker. I hope they do well. It's a large leaf, so it's a large tomato. Look at all these cucumbers. Oh my gosh, I need to har them harvest more. There's like one big one right there. And then these are called... They're ground cherries, but you're supposed to harvest them when they hit the ground. But they're delicious. 
So you open them up, which I can't do with one hand. And there's this delicious little beautiful fruit. I'll show you what the inside looks like. Mmm, it's just like candy. Look at that. Little seeds in there too. Mmm. Mmm. Cherry flavor. Pineapple. Peach. Mango. But yeah, I see. There's some strawberries down there. So I think I'm going to start harvesting those. They're, they haven't fallen onto the ground. So I'm just going to get them off the plant. Oh my gosh. Oh, look at it. I popped it out. These are delicious. They taste like candy. Mmm. Oh my gosh. I'm going to cut this down. Wow, that one was really good. I'm going to cut this one down and winter it in my house. I don't want to lose that variety. But I'm also going to keep some of the seeds. I have a mixture of stuff here. This is peanuts. The peanuts grow underground. A bird brought this. Left it in my driveway. So I pulled it out and put it here. And then all the strawberries in here. Look at that, strawberries. Mm. Those are so good. So over here are some pomegranates. They're not gonna do anything. It's in a pot, so it's not gonna do anything. This one's a good size. It's cute. There's three of them on this one. And I think that's it. There was a lot of flowers this year, but so we'll see. So these are the hardy kiwis and they need to be in the ground. But look how soon this has already turned yellow. Oh darn, that one went bad. Ew. Ooh, this one's ready. So these are little hardy kiwis. Let me check it. That's the end of the flower. Let me show you what the inside looks like. See? Oh my gosh, they're so delicious. I love those. Mm. They're so good. There's another one. Maybe I should come through here. Some of the, yeah, see, some of these aren't doing that great because it's in a pot. It's been in the pot for like three, four years. But it's finally, oh my God, look at the spider. Sheesh. Hmm. that kiwi again. They're just like little grapes. Yeah, that's kind of sad. So I've been putting a lot of stuff on this side of the yard to um, burn. I have a huge burn pile right there, look at that. It's my garden section. Okay, this one's not ready, but I'm going to harvest it early. This is how you usually see them at the farmer's market. And there's the cute little seeds. I don't think I can zoom in. Nope. Because if I zoom in like this, it'll... Oh, I can't do it. No. There we go. Mm. I just don't want to put it in the ground. But I'm going to have to. So these are called hardy kiwis. And they grow in large clusters usually, but... Not right now. See, that one's not ready, but mmm, mm, very sweet still. Actually, that one is ready. <laughs> okay. Mm. Poor plant. It's our summer. It was different this year. Well, things are beginning to calm down when it comes to the flowers. All of these here this year didn't do that great. They're usually really big and onto the driveway. But I didn't really put enough nutrients there. So next year there'll be a lot of compost. And I think I'll always do the petunias. And the petunias are starting to get blight. So in about a week probably, these might not look that great. So I'll have to take them up. That's okay. I can refill these pots with something. But yeah, if you look carefully, blight. That's from the cold weather and rain that we had. Those are so pretty. 
I used to give those out as freebies to you guys when you watch my live shows when I did paparazzi and um, those are the seeds so if you ever get the flowers like that cut the seed heads off and save them these came back from last year you can end up with tons so but for some reason I must have weed this out too much the only one that came back was just one plant it actually starts here and it fell over so it's gone sideways the pineapple sage plant I don't know what happened but just a few flowers it's gonna be too late for it to flower I can tell now that it's curling like this it wants to flower but we're in the end of September so it's not gonna work there's all the roses all the stuff all the weeding that needs to be done my espaliated fruit trees chickens that's their chicken yard over there oh I just realized this kept this up it didn't fall down this year it's saying the pussy cat facing that way what else well these hanging baskets are also coming to an end they're just getting stringy and sticky and with all that rain we had it gave it a final problem but it could come back we just need a little bit more sun but all of the ones that are hanging here are just not in their best anymore but they're really really pretty and they have little solar lights and then at the mailbox there's that one I killed all this off but this is the only spot that has a green <laughs> everything else doesn't and then I had some leftovers that I stuck here and there's a couple of weeds in there and I need to pull them out yeah, and this is a um, cherry bush I needed a place to go so that's right there it's cute Hello there, sushi. Should we go finish picking the tomatoes and call it an evening? <laughs> Where's the other cat? My neighbor's cat likes to come over here, but I haven't seen her for two days. I hope she's okay. <coughs> Once you pass this area, which is the roses, you go into the shady garden area. That's doing great. It's a water feature in there, but no movement. Hostas are hanging on. I'm sure there was some cross pollination going on. And then, let's see. And then, this one is really delayed coming back. This fuchsia took so long. It's just now doing good. Pew, what is that smell? Pew. I caught a weird whiff. It's gone. It was just a second. Black hollyhocks are trying to come back. And even a flower tried. And the weird thing is, they're all still here. And I think... Yeah, the seeds are in here too. And there's one hollyhock flower way up there by itself. That's like 10 feet tall, I think. Oh, there's a couple over there in the corner. See them? And these are growing back for next year. Yeah. That always needs water. Hmm. Look at a cute little tricycle. And right here, I sit down. And I watch the chickens. Today I have to change the water. Every other day I change it. Because there's 12, I think, call ducks. And in the end, I think they're only going to be 10. Because I have two extra drakes. You get the Nova Gins. They're so good. This year, this was a volunteer. I, I didn't know what it was. It's still flowering. And all of a sudden, I realized they're lemon cucumbers. Um, 
So I love lemon cucumbers, but oops. Um, here's an older one. I need to pick that one. So yeah, I think I'm gonna pick those off. I like them, they're delicious. Ouch, I just hit myself. They're pretty, I don't think I'm gonna ever grow these. They're too small. I don't know. They're very prolific when you have a good compost. A bunch of mints growing in there. These are raspberries that are gonna give me another flush. It's trying to, but I don't think it'll be on time. But there's a lot of raspberries on the other part over there. Way up there. These figs are not gonna make it this year. Nope. And that's because they're in a pot. But yeah, see these are the starts of raspberries again. For some reason there's no prick. Oh yeah, there is. I just never get myself. I've been pulling out all that horseradish. And giving it to the chickens. Yeah, it's trying to do another round of raspberries and they're very flavorful okay well i think let me show you this another dahlias very pretty i think i'm gonna take those in and collect my chicken eggs and call it no there's more to do never mind <laughs> big basket of eggs i mean um juliet tomatoes so if you guys had tomatoes like this or more what would you do with yours leave it in the comments and tell me what you would do also, have you ever just freeze these just like the way they are after you wash them in like freezer bags and put them in the freezer? And what are the negatives that you've experienced doing that? And what are the positives? All right, Sushi. Are you my helper? My little Sushi. That's her name, Sushi. Sushi Pinchu. She's the worst farm kitty. Yes, you are. You're just too pooty. Okay, talk to you later.